This is the second part of my multi-part video series on how to analyze a stock. In this video, we will see the different ways of how an investor could pick their stocks. Kindly read through the disclaimer of the video. A quick recap. In the first part we saw the 8 steps that are involved in analyzing a stock. Check the first part of the video for more details. In this video, we will discuss step 0, how to pick or screen a stock idea. Most investors struggle with picking stocks. We will now see 5 major approaches for picking a stock. Top down approach. Bottom up approach. What you see. What you know or do. Cloning. Which is a good approach. There is no right or wrong answer. Each approach has its pros and cons. Investors should focus on an approach that best suits them. Top down approach. The investors start by looking at macroeconomic factors before working their way down to individual stocks. They pick sectors or industries that are doing good in the economy. Then they analyze individual companies within these sectors and choose the best stock. Bottom up approach. The investors start by looking at individual companies on some specific parameters. They screen for stocks based on parameters like low valuation metrics or profitability ratios. Multiple stock screening websites are available for screening the stocks. One such website is screener.in. Then the in-depth fundamental analysis is done on the screen stocks to choose the best stock. What you see. This approach is from the famous investor Peter Lynch. It is a good and simplified way of picking stocks. Let us see how it works. Morning, we use paste, soap to refresh. These come from a FMCG company. We then have our breakfast, which again comes from a FMCG company. We travel to office, over car or a bike, this comes from auto sector. We have lunch and evening tea with our office friends, it would be associated with some restaurant chain. For our spends we use ATM, credit card or debit card, these come from banking sector. Back home we use lot of items for our comfort in daily life. Most of them come from listed companies. A few items to name are air conditioner, water purifier, television, microwave ovens, kettle, mobile phone etc. The service provider for the phones and internet also comes from a listed company. Coming to the entertainment space, we may read newspapers, many of which are listed companies. Some of the channel groups that we watch in television are from listed space. You go on a vacation with family, there are few airline names. You stay in a holiday resort, which belongs to a listed company. Someone is not well, you go to a hospital or take medicines. There are hospitals and pharma companies from listed space. In this manner, if you make a list, you could easily get nearly 30 to 40 companies. We use the best products for our needs. Could that be a best investment idea as well? So this is one way to generate lot of stock names. Looks simple. But a word of caution. A good or your favorite product does not mean that you invest on that company immediately. You are only in step zero. 
this will have to pass through all the next seven steps before making a decision to invest your money in the company. This is one disadvantage in this approach, as investors get attached to the product, company and would invest without any further analysis. What you know or do. Every investor will be working in a company or may be running a business. Investors pick companies or sectors, which they know or understand well due to the experience they gained from their profession or business. This is more of sticking to circle of competence. Our profession or business has earned us a wealth of knowledge in a sector or a few sectors. This knowledge could be on various financial and operational metrics between companies in the sector, who is the market leader, the competitive scenario and so on. These valuable insights help in picking stocks within the same sector. As doctor or pharmacist one definitely know much about the pharma industry in terms of who heads the competition, who has a higher market share and so on. It is a wise idea to pick the stocks from this space for further analysis. In this approach, investors pick ideas or stock names in which other big investors and mutual fund houses have invested. This does not relate to coattail investing, where the investors blindly buy stocks that these investors have invested in. However in this approach, investor only pick the initial stock names from these big investors or mutual funds. Then the investor does further analysis before making a decision on investment. Now the question is, where can an investor get the holdings of these investors or mutual funds? In case of big investors, it would be discussed in media and can be seen in some websites. In case of mutual funds, the holding details can be taken from the respective mutual fund website. Another alternative would be using value research website. The website rates the funds under various categories. Choose any four or five rated fund and view their holdings. Alternatively, if you're already aware of any good fund, you may search their site and view their holdings. This approach of identifying a stock idea is quite dangerous, as it is associated with behavioral biases such as confirmation bias and halo effect. Since it is held by other investors or mutual funds, we tend to ignore further analysis or do not take further analysis seriously. Investors must only pick the stock names and should not make any investment decision at this stage. As the last activity, try to get the story behind the company. A few details would be, who is the promoter, their background, is the company the biggest producer, their other products, competitor details, how many years are they in this business. In-depth details are not needed, however gather as much details as possible. It is time for some actions. Suggest you pick a few stock names using any or all of these approaches. Go by the approach which you are confident. These stocks can be used for hands-on analysis as we pass walk through other stages of analyzing a stock. Thanks for watching this video. Drop your questions in the comments section and I will answer them in the next video. Subscribe to my channel Empowering with Financial Awareness, to get alerts whenever I post videos on personal finance and stock investing. If you liked this video, share with your friends.